मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज मंदीप कौर फ्रॉम कैलिफोर्निया पब्लिक स्कूल होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन नो लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे टॉपिक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द न्यू वर्कशीट दैट इज 10.5 एंड नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज सीक्वेंस एंड सीरीज नाउ 10.5 इज बेस्ड ऑन द ज्योमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन जीपी सीरीज सो व्हाट इज द जीपी सीरीज सो फर्स्टली आई एम गोइंग टू राइट डाउन हियर अ सीरीज दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट इजीली इन व्हिच वे वी कैन सॉल्व ऑल द क्वेश्चंस ऑफ रिलेटेड टू द geometric progression so here is a series 1 after that is 2 4 8 16 up to so on is there so look at here if i will say that what is its first term what is its first term that is 1 a is equal to 1 now in the geometric progression now look at this series Here is one. If I will multiply it with two, that will become two. Two multiply two, that is four. Four multiply two, that is eight. Eight multiply two, that is sixteen. So in the geometric progression, ratio should be same. Ratio that means its second term when divided by its first term, its ratio. Look at here. R is the common ratio. Common ratio. so how can we find out the ratio ratio that is second term divided by its first term that means 2 by 1 that is equal to 2 and similarly third term divided by its second term 4 by 2 that is equal to 2 and here is if i will divide here is the second term divided by the first term that is 2 and in the similar way third term divided by its second term that is also 2 and similarly its fourth term 1 2 3 4 fourth term divided by its third term fourth term divided by its third term that means 8 by 4 that is also 2 so in the geometric progression whatever the series is given its ratio should be same in the arithmetic progression difference is same and in the geometric progression the ratio should be same and in the similar way at the last we have a n plus 1 divided by a n is there so that is our a here is our a now here look at here its ratio is 2 that means each term is multiple of 2 here is first term a that means that is a r 1 into 2 is there after that that is a r square that means 1 into 2 square that is 4 and after that that is a r cube and that is a raised to power 4 and up to so on is there so geometric progression is in the form of a ar ar square ar cube ar r raised to power 4 and that is its first term that is second term that is third term fourth term fifth term now look at here if i have to consider its general term uh, we have already discussed in the arithmetic progression that the general term of arithmetic progression that means an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d now what is a nth term of geometrical progression what is its nth term what is its nth term now its first term that is a second term is written a a r is to power 1 is there third term here is r is to power 2 whenever we are going to find out its third term here is a r square in the fourth term here is a r cube in the fifth term here is a r is to power 4 so in the similar way if i will find out its nth term that is nothing but a r raised to power n minus 1 here is n so here raised to power r is n minus 1 because if here is 3 here is 2 here is 4 here is 3 here is 5 here is 4 so that is the general formula for finding the terms in the geometrical progression sequence so a n is equal to a r raised to power n minus 1 so in all these types of question we have given some series and we have to find out what is its nth term uh, what is uh, sorry what is its 6 7 18 any term we have to find out by using this general formula so let us suppose we have to find out its seventh term so we have given some series and we have to find out what is seventh term that means we have to write down the value of any seven so it will become here 7 minus 1 6 a and r whatever the series is given we can easily find out what is its a that means the first term and what is its common ratio that is r so let's start the first question of this worksheet okay now the first question of this worksheet is find the next term of the sequence here the sequence is given 1 by 6 1 by 3 2 by 3 and we have to find out its next term 
so that is first term second term th third term and we have to find out its fourth term a four what is its fourth term so firstly what is the value of its first term that means a the value of a is 1 by 6 now what is its common ratio r what is its common ratio r so how can we find out its ratio by dividing second term by its first term that means 1 by 3 divided by 1 by 6 so 1 by 3 into 6 by 1 so that is equal to 2 so its ratio is 2 its first term is 1 by 6 now according to the general formula here is a and that is equal to a r raised to power n minus 1 we have to find out its fourth term so here is a 4 is equal to a r 4 minus 1 that is 3 now put down the value of a and r now the value of a that is 1 by 6 and its r that is 2 so here is power 3 so 2 cube that is 8 by 6 so 2 fours are 8 and 2 threes are 6 that means its fourth term is 4 by 6 3 its fourth term is 4 by 3 now come to the next question of this worksheet okay now the next question is which term of the sequence here is a sequence 2 2 root uh, 2 root 2 4 up to so on is 128 now let us suppose its nth term is 128 which term that means we have to find out what it is value of n so in the question we have to find the value of n and let us suppose its nth term is 128 that means a n is equal to 128. So the general formula here is a r is to power n minus 1 is equal to 128. The value of a that is equal to 2 and the value of r that is 2 root 2 divided by 2 that is equal to root 2. So here is a is 2 the value of r root 2 and its power n minus 1 that is equal to 128 2 is multiplied in this side in this side it will be divided so root 2 and its power is n minus 1 so it will become 2 6 are 12 2 4 are 8 now we know that in the form of equal in the form of equal if the bases are same then their powers are also same so firstly we have to make its base root 2 so 64 can be written as root 2 and its power 12 root 2 and its power 12 so here is root 2 and its power is n minus 1 now look at both the bases are same so their powers are also equal that means n minus 1 is equal to 12 that means the value of n is equal to 12 plus 1 so the value of n is equal to 13 now come to the next question of this worksheet Okay, now the next question is determine the 12th term of GP. We have to find out its 12th term of GP. That means A12. So that is equal to A R is to power N minus 1. So here is N12. So that will become A R is to power 12 minus 1. That is 11. So we have to find out this one. And uh, whose 8th term is given? That is 192. So 8th term, that means the value of A8 is given 192. That means a r raised to power 7 because n minus 1 and is 8 so 8 minus 1 that is equal to 7 and that is given 192 so its common ratio is also given that is equal to 2 the value of r is also given so we have to find out its 12th term its 12th term so a 12 is equal to now here we know that the value of a r raised to power 7 so if i will write down a r raised to power 11 as here is 7 and here is 4 because bases are same one bases are same so power can be added 7 plus 4 that will become 11 so a r is to power 7 its value is 192 so write down here 192 and value of r that is 2 so here is 2 raised to power 4 so 192 multiply 2 raised to power 4 that is 16 so after this you have to do its multiplication and you can easily find out what is its 12th term now come to the next question of this worksheet. Okay now the next question is find the number of terms of a GP whose first term is 3 by 4. That means the value of A is 3 by 4 and the common ratio that means the value of R is 2 and its last term is 384. So here we have to find out the number of terms. 
So let us first total number of terms is equal to n. Total number of terms that is equal to n. And its last term is given that is 384. That means its nth term will be its last term. That means a n is equal to 384. So by applying the formula here that is a r is to power n minus 1 that is equal to 384. The value of a that is 3 by 4. The value of r that is 2 and its power is n minus 1 that is equal to 384. So here is 2 raised to power n minus 1 is equal to 384 into 4 by 3. So here is 3 ones are 3, 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6 and 3 eights are 24. So 2 raised to power n minus 1, n minus 1 is equal to 128 into 4 that is 8 fours are 32 and uh, here is 11 and here is 5, 512. So 2 raised to power n minus 1 that is equal to 512. So now look at here. Here is the base 2. Here is base 2. So here we have to make its base 2 so that we can equate their powers. So when you will do the multiplication of 2 9 times. Otherwise you have to uh, solve it by doing the prime factorization. And when you will solve it by doing the prime factorization that will become 2 raised to power 9. 2 raised to power 9. So here is 2 raised to power n minus 1. So bases are same that means their powers are also equal. That means n minus 1 equal to 9. So that the value of n is equal to 10. That means how many terms are there? There are 10 number of terms. There are 10 number of terms. Now come to the next question of this worksheet. Okay now the next question is. Find value of x such that minus 2 by 7, x minus 7 by 2 are the three consecutive terms of GP. Now these terms are in GP. So in the previous worksheet we have discussed about the arithmetic progression. And in the arithmetic progression we have learned that if A, B, C are in AP. If A, B, C are in AP that means a double of this one is equal to addition of first and last. How it becomes a... Because we know that if three numbers are in AP, that means their difference is same. That means B minus A is equal to C minus B. So that will become, here is negative B in this side, it will be positive. So 2B is equal to A plus C. A plus C. That is in the arithmetic progression. But here is symmetrical progression. So in GP, if three numbers are in GP, let us suppose three numbers are A, B, C. A, B, C. And in GP, we know that their ratio is same. That means B by A is equal to C by B. C by B. That means by doing its cross multiplication, B square is equal to AC. So here we will use this result. Now these three numbers are in GP. Here is its A, here is B and here is its C. So B square, that means X square is equal to A into C. That means minus 2 by 7 into minus 7 by 2. So x square is equal to 1. That means the value of x is plus minus 1. Because here is square that means two values are there of x. So one is positive 1 and the other is negative of 1. Now come to the next question of this worksheet. Okay now the next question is if the 4th, 7th and the 10th term of GP are x, y, z. Its fourth term that means a4 is equal to x. Its seventh term that means a7 is equal to y. And its tenth term that means a10 is equal to z. And here we have to prove that x, y, z are in gp. Now x, y, z are in gp. x, y, z are in gp. That means what we have to prove. If three terms are in GP, that means the square of its middle term, y square equal to addition of first and, uh, sorry, multiplication of first and last. So, that we have to prove. Y square is equal to x into z. Now, look at here. Here is, fourth term is x. So, it can be written as a r cube is equal to x. Fourth term is x. So, it can be written as a r cube because n minus 1. So, n is 4, 4 minus 1, that is 3. In the similar way, 7 term that can be written as a r is to power 6 that is equal to y and a r is to power 9 is equal to z, equal to z. 
Now here is left hand side. The square of y that will become x into z. Now the value of y is a r is to power 6. So here is y square. Because here we need the y square. So y square will become a r is to power 6 and its whole square. So that will become a square and r is to power 12. So if I will write down it as a r cube into a r is to power 9. Because a a into a that will become a square. r cube r is to power 9. Bases are same. So 9 plus 3 that is 12. So I can write this value like this. So that is nothing but the value of x. That is our x and that is our z. That is our z. So that is equal to x and that means y square is equal to x z that we have to prove. So we can say that x, y, z are in z p. Hope so that all of you have been clear about in which way we can solve all these types of questions related to the geometric progression. Now for tomorrow we will discuss the remaining question of this worksheet. Thank you so much everyone.